Okay, so um, I'm Paul, and uh, as you know, I have been working with uh, Promo, the Promo team since 2017. Anika. My name is Anika Cooper, and I have it's been more than a year now with KDE. And uh, as everybody knows, that I am working with the promo team. <laughs> yes. So, <laughs> um, this uh, this talk came about because uh, back in two thousand eighteen, uh, I was in uh, Vienna, like many of you were also and somebody came up to me you know i was minding my own business and doing stuff somebody came up to me and asked me why are you here just just like that point blank and you know being in vienna i thought it was pretty obvious uh, i was there to drink beer eat schnitzel and stuff sasha talked into my face uh, uh, oh of course to attend academy too but the person asking that question was not asking that he was asking, um, why do we need promo in uh, 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 KD? Why do we need a, a promo uh, team uh, led by somebody who is a contractor, blah, blah, blah. What was so important about promo? Uh, basically, this is the question. This is a derivation of the idea that um, any product that is good enough will sell itself will people will 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 go to it it's this idea that if the product is good people will come so the problem with that is that that idea is false that idea is uh, and has been proven false several times um oh, several times nearly every time uh, uh in the real world uh, over and over again so for example if we go to an area that we know well, which is um, that of operating systems. Think of Windows Vista. This was an unmitigated disaster um, by any measure. It was buggy, it was leaky, it was hoggy, you know, it hogged lots of resources. Uh, but Microsoft managed to sell 20 million um, copies in the first month. That is not 20 million uh, machines installed. This is people going out to buy a box with uh, a disk in it that contained Windows Vista. Uh, and over the next year, Windows Vista went on to reach 40% of the PC market. Um, this was back in 2007. Uh, meanwhile, the Linux desktop, which I think that everybody would admit here, uh, even at the time was, well, I think that it was probably better than Windows Vista for several reasons, was at best 2%. Uh, currently, last year, it peaked at 3%, but then went back to 2%. So that's nearly 15 years later. Uh, we are still more or less in the same place. So my question is, Paul's game is way too high, asking for adjustment. Okay, one second. Uh, it's too loud, is it, guys? Sorry. Yes, yes. Oh, maybe that's just me, you know? <laughs> okay. Better? Sorry. Yes, yes. Okay. okay. I don't want to cause any... Uh, uh, damage to, to anybody's ears. Okay. The thing is that uh, so 15 years later, uh, we are not in a in a much better position. Um, so, do you think that people, the people that went um, uh, and bought? those the people that went and bought those 20 million box sets of window vista did it because the product was good no uh, so what do you think pushed them to pop down to to walmart or target or whatever and add 
uh, a box to their to their shopping to their shopping cart. Hmm? Brand um, pardon? I'm saying brand new. Also, also it could be something that I have here that I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you only uh, a few seconds. One second. Let's see if I can grab the thing. Right. Okay, one moment. So I'm going to grab this. Go with full screen. Let's see if it'll play. 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 Oh. Allow. Here we go. Every so often you experience something so new, so delightfully unexpected. Wow. There's only one word for it. Wow. Okay, I think that's enough. Um, this uh this this advert this advertisement um uh triggers me so much <laughs> uh i can't resist anymore but you know maximum is the thing that the magnifying the magnifying class the glass that comes by doesn't magnify anything but anyway um so what what happened uh let me uh let me get back to this okay so basically, people knew they had to go and buy uh, uh, a new copy of Windows because they saw an advertisement, because someone told them they had to go and buy it. They, they didn't come into their head just out of nowhere or just because developers created something. Now, um, this is what basically uh, uh, Promo offers uh, offers you. Um, we have worked on KD uh, for now coming up for four years. We have increased um, KD's visibility. Uh, we have got our name in, in new publications. We have increased the number of people who visit, uh, who read us on social media etc cetera, etc cetera. you all know this we 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 roll this up, we roll this information out every single time we we talk um but what you probably are not aware of that apart from working on kd as a whole we also want to work with projects individually and even with developers indiv individually if if they need it you know? and uh we have been working with with some projects um so and we have even endorsements from them for example uh farid from brazil says having created telegram groups kidding live community meetings better promo release notes social media presence etc has definitely helped so yes thank you farid from brazil and that was from kidding live obviously uh, Alexander from Labplot says uh, the promo that the, we started working with Labplot in uh, October 2019, and he says that uh, use, starting to use uh, uh, promotion regularly to to increase the visibility of Labplot, uh, mapped to the increase of number of emails we're getting from new users, it increased the number of new followers on Twitters. Uh, uh, new people joining Laplot room on Matrix, uh, and two new active contributors. Um, this all we didn't have, let's say, one year ago. So thanks, Alexander. 
And then we have a contributor from uh, the UK who says, would promote things again, five stars. Thank you, David. So that uh, normally, obviously, n uh, when there is a change in uh, the project, the project gets better visibility and better um, um, uh, more people following them and more contributors, etc. Not for one reason alone, obviously. Promo is not the only uh, promotion is not the only reason. Normally, promotion is comes with a package of of decisions that the maintainers uh, 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 make. Like you know, um, they pr they ramp up promotion, but also uh, they take a project that maybe was on pause, or because it had lost its maintainer, or because it had had problems. Uh, getting unstuck from some anything and then they resume and then they take on also promotion uh or the, or they take the project in another direction uh it was headed and then they also add promotion it's not one thing uh that that contributes to this increase in visibility obviously but it is difficult to imagine and that in itself is a bit annoying because we can't uh, say okay, definitely what we did here uh, helped, but uh, it is obvious uh, what hasn't ha ever happened is that the project has taken on more promotion and has gotten worse. Let's say that. I mean, uh, <laughs> that's not an enormous thing, but okay. So, one sec. Next slide. Here we go. So uh, we obviously. Uh, apart from uh, uh, to 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 improve your projects, etc., we do things that you probably don't, right? Uh, one of the things we do is uh, I have a list here, but and you and I haven't got a, a slide with all the, the the bullet points because this is something we have to know. But I'm, I'm just going to tell you, right? Uh, for example, we study social media and then design post to get the biggest reaction so i'm going to show you i'm going to see if this works a bit better this time and i'm going to show you something that we i, I was working on this past week regarding social media give let's so hope this starts ah it's open okay now let's go here Right. Now, so we measure, we take all this information from all the tweets that we ever post on the KD community um, account. This is two years worth of tweets, right? For example, and I'm talking about Twitter because it turns out it's really easy to, it, it's kind of the easiest to analyze for us. We, but we also, uh, do LinkedIn, Facebook, Reddit, Mastodon, etc., etc. So we take that uh, that data and we do something like this, for example. Let me increase that so you can see better. What this is telling us is uh, the the engagement per tweet that we receive for each on each day and at each hour. So um, the engagements are that people or reply or they retweet or uh they um uh, what's the other thing they can do ah they or they like it so right so we've got along the top of the days to monday tuesday blah, blah, to sunday and on the left we have the times approximate times uh utc now the lighter the color the more engagements so as you can see we have a cluster here of white cells that's telling us that uh, this is probably a good time and good days to to post. So when people come in and say, I want to post something about my blog, etc., we may say things like, well, wait until Tuesday or wait until Wednesday or whatever. And we don't say that because, uh, you know, at the moment we don't want to work or anything. We say that because we know this, 
We know that uh, people tend to engage more on these days and at these times. I mean, if you look at, uh, uh, along the, the right, if you look at the maximum number, which is 11,000, and the maximum number uh, at the bottom is 15,000, you have the ideal time to post, apparently, is on Wednesday at 8 o'clock UTC. Right? Now, of course, uh, this is not the only thing you have to take in mind. You have to also take in mind, for example, the impressions, which is how many times your post is going to be seen. And for that, we have this table. Right, This is the number of impressions that e uh, accumulated impressions we got on these days and times. And again, if we move along to the right, 186 is the highest number, and the highest number down here is 403. So again, the best time to be read, to be seen, is on Wednesday at 8 o'clock UTC. So, <clears throat> let's get back to the presentation. So, this tells us when to post, for example. So, th this is one of the things we do. We analyze all this information for you and then when you come in we can tell you the the, the, uh, the ideal moment to to post but not only that uh, we can also tell you the the ideal way to focus your post let me go on to the next slide here we go now um because we also analyze um um uh, analyze is maybe a very pedantic word we also look at what uh, posts do well depending on how they are phrased. So here we have two, two um, posts that link to the same thing. They were, they were posted on the same day, one hour apart. Uh, they were posted to, to Reddit and, and as well to Twitter and Facebook, etc, etc, etc. And as you can see, the bottom one, which was posted first, got 29 upvotes and has no comments, right? Then it was posted, at uh, the moment this screenshot was taken, it was posted 12 hours prior. Number one, we posted by accident because we didn't realize that that uh, uh, um, somebody from Kating Life had already posted about the new 2104 release. Uh, was put to back, but we decided to leave it. When we realized, we decided to leave it, see what happened. And what happened is it got this, this is the one that the promo team public uh, posted, and it got 76 up, uh, upvotes, um, and it finally reached nearly 90, if I remember right. And at the moment uh, of taking a screenshot, had five comments. It finally went on to have 11. It's not great. It was not one of our most successful posts. But you can see there is a substantial difference, even though the one posted by KD, the KD Live team was first. What is the difference? The difference is that the one the promo team uh, uh, posted has much more information. So we normally do this thing of listing three things. Or, so if we say KD Live, uh, uh, the new version of KDI has been has been launched, and it has this, this, and this three things. While the the prior one doesn't list anything, so it's with the people who are reading it, they have less information, they have less reason to upvote it, they have less reason to talk about it. So this is the other thing we do: we look at all these things. And we decide not only when's the perfect moment to post, well, perfect, there's nothing perfect, but when's a good moment to post. We also, once you tell us what you want to do, we can also tell you how you should focus it, what information you should include. Another classic, we discovered that uh, in a whole year of, of tweets, uh, the bottom 100 tweets had no uh, pictures whatsoever, while the top 100 tweets had, all of them had pictures uh, included with them, which led us to conclude, maybe wrongly, but we think we are right, led us to conclude that we should always send out a tweet with a picture. That's why when somebody comes in and says, could you tweet this? We say, okay, what image do you want? 
and then what text do you want and we usually give it uh, we have some talk so it's not just you know tweeting out stuff and letting it go just we have to um uh, uh uh, give it a spin we have to look for we have to look for an appropriate image etc etc also another thing we discovered is that brightly colored with lots of busy stuff going on images are do better than simply gray windows so when we post a screenshot of one of uh, kd's applications there's always something going on it's not an empty uh, uh screenshot right so right so the other thing we do is we when we write announcements or somebody comes with a blog post and wants us to go over it or uh, talk about it or whatever <coughs> we um engineer the text we rewrite the text so it has a maximum appeal to the audience uh, you want to read reach we you will see this in for example the, the the plasma announcements I mean in the latest plasma announcement we emphasize we always give the announcement some kind of topic uh, this year this this last one there wasn't much visual stuff we could latch on to much visual um, many visual features we could latch on to so we decided to go with the stability usability flexibility which is a bit abstract which is something that you can't uh, uh, usually see but it is something that uh, users could appreciate and so we made the topic stability usability and flexibility if we look at what people talked about in their blogs and in uh, news sites etc right we have okay the, this Italian one got it half right, performance e usabilità. This one said stability it's on economia, so that is stability and usability. Mass fiable and stability, so it's stability. So we somehow yes, sorry, Anika, you want to say something? Okay, there's this weird sound. Okay. There was um it's somehow a bit of you know that famous um um uh, 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 reality distortion field where you say something and somehow everybody uh just believes it not that we lie or anything like that but uh, we choose the, a topic we put it and people uh uh uh, uh repeat it as if it were their own idea, as if they had review, uh, reviewed it and find, found it to be uh, exactly what we said, which, well, it, it is true that that uh, Plasma 5.22 has improved stability, usability, flexibility. It is also true that m most new versions of Plasma improve those things, but anyway. Probably uh, the the Oh, 15 minutes only. Probably the most important thing we do for you is we help you define uh, clear goals for uh, every promotional activity. Often when you come in, you come in with an idea and uh, we uh, like say you want to promote your blog post and we ask why or what do you want to achieve? Uh, a lot of people find this a bit of, of putting because uh, it should be obvious. I want to promote my, my blog post because I want more people to, to visit my blog. Okay. But what is the ultimate aim of that? Uh, just promoting your blog post is not the, cannot be the end game. You must want something else, something that will benefit your project. For example, you may want to promote a blog post that uh, uh, that invites people to help you develop your application. You're inviting people to participate in the development or you want to promote your blog post because you want people to download your your uh, uh, application more and use it, etc. That is 
an end game uh, goal. And we often we often uh, try to help with that. Uh, so by applying what we call uh, a baseline, where we take the thing you are trying to promote and find out how it makes somebody's life or the, 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 the people you want to reach lives better. So, for example, if it's uh, uh, somebody using your your application, it will improve their life somehow. For example, if we're talking about Kdin Life, well, the new version has more features and it will help you subtitle your videos in a much better way and you'll be able to produce your videos in several different languages much faster and without so much hassle. So we find out uh, the thing, which is your product, and, uh, and what thing it improves and for who, right? And that helps us to make your um, product reach a wider audience because it is easier to understand for the readers or the listeners or whatever why they should use it. The other thing we do, and this and with this I'm gonna finish, is that oh two things. We look into we also look into external events, the uh, where we can take your products and show them off. Like we have taken uh, uh, GCompre to Educa Web in Brussels and show it to teachers. We have taken Plasma Mobile to uh, Open Expo in Madrid and showed it to prospective uh, developers and uh, uh, companies uh, that develop uh, uh, mobile applications and things like that in the hope that somebody will uh, sign up and you know actually do something with that. And finally, we actually go out and help organize grass, grassroots communities of KD supporters in places where maybe the efforts were a bit disparate. And this is what the network program is about, which uh, Anika is going to explain. Um, um, we have we already have a session. Well, I think my voice, okay, thank you. So we already have a session tomorrow uh, related to KDE Network, and it is at 7.40 UTC. And I'm just going to tell you briefly right now, so if you want to know more about it, you can join us tomorrow. So the most important thing last year we did was to actually have start KDE Network. So we really want... Uh, uh, all the people who really want to start something in their city and want help uh, from us to uh, promote their KD software. Uh, I'm focusing on KD software because uh, G Company has been promoted in Kerala and we also got a really good uh, leader there and uh, all connected to a leader of educational board. So which was a very good initiative for us. So if you think that you need help over there uh, in your community, you think there's a potential and you need support, even if you think that you are only one and you can't do it, so just come to us and we can tell you how we can help you. Because that's what we did with GCompre as well. We have started creating social posts for them. We have started uh, a cookbook for them. So um, you can just come to us and maybe we can share ideas. So maybe, uh, uh, maybe if we have we, we have the BOF, right, Paul? So in the BOF, we will be discussing our future steps about promo. So if you want to join that as well, and if you have any ideas or you want to discuss your um, software or your application in more detail, you can join us. So if you have any questions related to KD Network or promo, we both are here right now. Please come up with it. So, yeah. Um... The point is that you know you should get your promo action on, uh, and you can do that by you can do that by uh, the best way is to come to the Matrix Room and talk to us and explain your project and explain <coughs> what you want to achieve, and we will we will talk you through stuff. Very often, what ends up happening is that we give people the information and the tools they need to carry out most of their promotion themselves. Uh, but of course, we also 
uh, offer them the stuff like the uh, access to the KD community um, uh, official um, or, or more official general uh, social media platforms so stuff that they they want to promote they can promote on there etc cetera, etc cetera. you can email email us either of us don't use the mailing list because that is normally for external um, um, organizations that want to contact with kind of like the people who who respond to press questions and stuff like that i mean you could it, it, it's not a problem it's just that we don't normally uh, uh receive a request through there the best way is the matrix kd uh promo uh, group uh where annika and i usually are hanging out there most of the time so i think that's it yes so if there are any questions i don't know how we're doing time wise we have seven minutes oh seven minutes good yeah Okay, okay, so in regards, so regards to questions, um, we have one so far. Um, so this is from Hala. We've seen that the biggest engagement driver for Krita was YouTube by about 60% of incoming hits. So we decided to fund someone to make a YouTube channel. Mm. Is that an idea for the KD as a whole? We do have a YouTube channel, uh, uh, and we we uh, hmm. we do have a YouTube channel, and it's it, there are several people who manage it. the The problem is, of course, creating content, creating videos is a long slog. It's very very long, and. Uh, uh and complicated and so we don't update uh, uh we don't upload as much as we want we would we want to um nicolo is doing a very good job at the moment uh and we aggregate stuff from his channel into uh playlists on on the youtube channel uh, on the kd youtube channel we also had a peer tube channel which was nice but as you know instances are normally are often uh, hosted by individuals and uh in the instance we were using disappeared so we're looking for a, a new peer tube channel uh that we can replicate our youtube stuff, stuff into peer tube so we don't have much problem you know everything that we have on on youtube we can dump into peer tube too which in itself is is complicated because we have many years of videos lots of lots of gigabytes of videos and not every instance will will take us so yes it is definitely a very good thing Hala. Uh, i think it's a, a very very savvy move and we are trying to keep up with that i would like to add it also depends on your audience for example for Krita, mostly people are interested in tutorials so the audience over there uh, needs videos right but for maybe kd because we are covering so many software so we don't have one dedicated audience for it so maybe a lot of your audience gets distributed for kde so some of them just want social media maybe just facebook twitter mastodon or some of them just want youtube so for k uh, for if you compare Krita and kd you will never have the same things Okay, thank you very much for the answers. Uh, no other questions came in in the meantime. So, thank you very much for the presentation, both of you. Mm. And we'll be seeing each other during the event, I guess. Thanks. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.